Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going to open our rare Teletubbies collector tins. Each one has a little surprise. First, we're going to open the La La tin. Originally there was candy in these tins, but today there's little toys. Hmm, a little mini box that says animals. Could there be a little mini animal inside? Oh, these are sea animals. We have an orca whale. We have a stingray. And remember, we're on a mission to save our orca whales. They do not belong in an aquarium. And we do not support places that have orcas in a tiny pool. It makes them sick and it makes them sad. They belong in the ocean. Let's open our Dipsy container. Dipsy's wearing his white hat with black polka dots. Oh, and I can hear something shaking around in there. It's quite heavy too. Ooh, look at it sparkle. It's an egg. And this is called Goldstone. It's one of my favorite gems. Speaking of eggs, before we open our next tin, we want to show you our live little pet, Chick. It's about to hatch. If you listen carefully, you can hear it cracking the egg and it will hatch at any moment. Our little chicky fell over. He's just learning to walk. We got the little blue chicky. And he's got pretty wings with stars all over. Now we'll open our Tinky Winky tin. Aww, it's a little soft kitty. It sort of looks like our kitty. Now it's Poe's turn. Ooh, it's a rock. Light green and shiny. Now we get to open the Nunu -nu tin. The Nunu -nu tin is different from the other ones. I can hear something inside. It's a little bottle. It's got some clear liquid. And it looks like this man is gold panning. It's authentic gold flakes. It's real gold from Brazil. I love to watch them float around. It's soothing. We don't want to drop this because it's a glass bottle and it can break. And we're not going to open the lid up either because it would spill everywhere. Well, thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today Daniel Tiger and his family have arrived at the Fisher Price Airport. They're about to take off on a plane. Look mom, dad, a helicopter is on the roof of the airport. It's about to take off. They enter the airport. Daniel Tiger and Dad Tiger stay with the suitcases while Mum Tiger and baby Margaret go grab some snacks at the little gift shop. Hi, uh, we're looking for some gum without aspartame. Oh yes, we've got gum right here. It's sweetened with xylitol. Hey look, Dad. That must be our airplane just landing now.
they watch as the passengers get off the plane. Hey look Dad, I see our suitcases. They must be loading them onto our plane. They also see the crew filling up the plane with jet fuel. Hey Dad, yesterday in school our teacher said they're trying to invent airplanes that are electric. Oh, Daniel, that would be so much better for the environment. That's why we own an electric car. Gas fumes are very bad for our Earth, and it's causing global warming. Yes, our teacher's telling us about that, too. She says that it's causing the Earth to warm up, and all the icebergs are melting, so the poor polar bears have nowhere to go, and there's lots of fires burning down our forests. That's right, Daniel. We all have to do our part. That's why we ride our bikes to school when we can. It's time to board. Tickets, please. Oh, yes, I have the tickets. There's four of us. Thank you so much. Please board your plane and enjoy your flight. They find their seats and buckle their seat belts, and the plane takes off. We like to watch the wheels and the wing as we take off on our flight. Once the plane lifts off the ground, the wheels get tucked into the wing. The higher we get, the smaller the buildings look. The plane goes up and up and up until we are above the clouds. It just looks like a blanket of marshmallows. Now it's time for a refreshment and a snack. There's some brie cheese and some cheddar cheese for dessert. There's a dark chocolate crunchy candy. Sea salt. And crackers for the cheese. Some crispy apples. And some green and purple grapes. Mmm. After our snack, it's time for a little nap. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we are going to play with our In the Night Garden Play-Doh set. And as you can see, there's a little bridge and inside is a ninky nonk mold that we can make out of Play-Doh. There's the Tom Blibus, the Pinky Punk, a flower for Upsy Daisy, Iggo Piggle's blanket, and under this blanket is Eggle Piggle. And under the cave, of course, is Mucka Pucka. And then there's also the gazebo where we're going to put some Play-Doh inside and see what happens when we put the lid on. So let's begin. And of course, I've got all of my colors of different Play-Dohs. So it's all the rainbow, and if you don't have all of the colors, like we're missing brown, then you can go to this color mixing map, and it'll tell you which colors to mix in order to get the other colors that you are missing. And let's brighten that up so you can see. So there's kind of an orangey brown, there's a brown, a teal, plum. So let's start by making Macapaca. And I would say Macapaca is a light brown color. So we're going to use this orangey brown for Macapaca and see what it looks like. And we'll 
open this up. It's brand new. And let's get a chunk for Macapaca. I would say that's probably enough. And we're going to put it inside. And you've got to squish it down so that it covers the entire mold. And then this is going to be the back side of Macapaca. And it's got a little tail even. So we're going to squish it down. Oh! Give it a good squeeze. And open it up. And look! We didn't get a tail. So how about we add just a little more Play-Doh to his bottom side. And see if we can get that tail. Because we got to have a tail for Macapaca. Oh, let's push a little bit harder. And there's a little tail there. We didn't get quite the full, full tail, but that, to me, looks good enough. So let's carefully take the edges off, because we don't need those parts. And we'll put those back in the container so they don't dry out. And we're going to see what our cute little Macapaca looks like. Oh, isn't he cute? Macapaca! Hello, Macapaca. You are so cute. Would you like us to make a friend for you? Macapaca! How about we make Iggle Piggle next? And if everybody knows, Iggle Piggle is the color blue. And we've got a darker blue, so we're just going to use this for today. And we'll take a chunk out for Iggle Piggle. Just to just like that, not very much. And close your Play-Doh so it doesn't dry out. And remember where Macapac is? I mean, sorry, Iggle Piggle. He's under the blanket. So let's put some and I guess some of the orange got in that Play-Doh, which is okay. There we go. And we're going to close the blanket and squish, squish it down. And open it up. And there we've got our Iggle Piggle. Again, we're going to remove these edges and carefully take our little Iggle Piggle out. <gasps> Iggle Piggle! You have a little line in your face. How did that happen? He has a big smile. Yes, my name is Eagle Piggle. So now Eagle Piggle can play with Macapaca. Macapaca. Okay, and now I would like to try this Play-Doh gazebo and we're going to make a little bit of an upsy-daisy shape so let's see what happens so we'll put our little Play-Doh away we'll leave Iggle Piggle out and Macapaca and I'm going to grab the pink Play-Doh and open it up now we're going to probably need a fair amount for this so let's Take about half and see what happens. I haven't tried this before, so let's see what happens. So we'll put our ball in and watch. We're going to squish it down. Oh, and you know what? We're going to need a lot more Play Doh, I think. So let's take out all the Play Doh. Like I said, I have not tried this one yet. So let's. Put the rest of the Play-Doh in and see. Whoa! And look at all that Play-Doh that comes out. Whoa! And 
that's how the gazebo works. So with the pink, pink Play-Doh, let's make a flower for Upsy Daisy. So we pat it in the mold. Oh, and there's a pretty flower for Upsy Daisy. And Iggle Piggle can give her a present. Wonderful. We'll just leave that there. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Maka paka. Goodbye. Bye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Daniel Tiger and his family are taking the red trolley to McDonald Land. Everyone hop on. Daniel sits in the back with his dad. And Mom Tiger and Baby Margaret will sit in the middle in front of Daniel and Dad. Everyone stay in their seats and keep your hands and arms inside the trolley. Welcome to McDonald Land. Before you can enter, Daniel's mom says we need to look both ways before crossing the train track. We look to the left and then we look to the right. Big Mac, the police officer of McDonald Land, lets Daniel Tiger know it's safe to cross. Welcome to McDonald Land, he says. Daniel and his family see Grimace on the yellow arch bridge. Hello and welcome to McDonald Land. My name is Grimace. You may cross over the golden arch bridge. Daniel and baby Margaret look for fish in the lake. Look at the sign, Daniel. Do you know what the name of the lake is? filet o fish Lake. Look over there, Daniel says. A red swing hanging from the tree. Can we go on, Mom, please? Daniel is nice enough to let baby Margaret swing first. Okay, it's Daniel's turn. Daniel, that was very nice of you to let your sister go first. Whee! As Daniel's swinging, he notices Ronald McDonald way up high. Daniel Tiger gets a little bit scared because it's a clown. But then he remembers what his mother said. Clowns are just real people in makeup. There's nothing to be afraid of. Look up there, Mom. It's Ronald McDonald. Oh, yes, and he's on stilts, Daniel. Remember, Ronald McDonald is very friendly, and he's nothing to be scared of. I know, Mom. Here comes the train. It has a few passengers on it. Choo-choo! Hello, and my name is Mayor McCheese. Welcome to McDonald Land. Please hop aboard the train. After the train ride, Daniel and his sister have a snack to eat with some orange juice. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.